Okay guys, just going to run through a quick crash course on the Collector app. Uh, so when you've showed up on the job for a call out, uh, we'll fill out a risk assessment, do the risk assessment, um, then we come into our Collector app which we've got open here, um, and then we start off to, to create a job. Simply go up to the, to the plus up the top, which is up there, which then brings up our screen as to, to what we're doing whether it be drainage or a gravel road, seal roads, uh, lines and signs or whatever. For this purpose we'll just go to sealed roads. Um, it's not working because we're inside properly. Uh, then it comes up with our next uh, thing here which is our, our activity. We'll click on our activity to see what we want done. So we need, uh, we've got some gravel on the road or whatever, we've got street sweeping. Um, all that sort of stuff but if we're on after hours we want down the bottom here we've got after hours call out so we'll click on that one because it's a, a call out after hours and we'll go up to the top and hit done um, our next one is our comment which is what the job entails so you know there's gravel on the road or oil on the road blah 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 hit done again Go down to our next field, which will give us our priority. Uh, we'll just go moderate for this one for now. Back up to done. Uh, estimated quantity. Um, I'm not sure actually what that was, whether it was hours or, or how it goes. Usually I think after hours call, that's hours, so we'll just go to. Back up to done. Uh, and then we come down to our status. Uh, I always just set our status on the draft. Um, yeah, just seems to work alright. Um, it still gives us our number. There's no waiting on approval there, so yeah, so, so draft is always a good start. Um, okay, then we've done all that. All those fields are filled in. So then we can go up to now start inputting our photos. So we'll go up to our little camera up there. Hit on our camera. Gives us add. So we hit add, and then down the bottom, take photo or video. So we'll take a photo, etc, etc. Um... Okay, we'll take a photo for this instance of nothing. Down the bottom there, use photo, or you can retake it if it didn't quite come out or what. We'll use photo. Um, so you can take as many photos as you like, and this is all attached straight to the work order. Also in there you want to, uh, this is where you can add another one here, and your risk assessment. Take a photo of both sides of your risk assessment and add to those, um, yeah, add to that work order as well. So we'll use that one as well, so it's a risk assessment. Uh, when we've done all that, obviously we're done. So we hit done up top left corner. Um, everything's good to go. Our submit button up the top, right hand side. Um, hit that. Um, and that will, yeah, basically give us a dot of our location where we are. And carry on then and, and do your work. Uh, we'll get out of all this discard because we don't want to log a job that's not actually there. But if I go back to... Um, an actual job that's created here's one here just click on the the cross or the circle or this little star whatever seems to appear and down the bottom our work order should pop up which it does that's our work order we then tap on that and that gives us our whole new field of everything we can we can now go up to the right hand side click on that we can go to edit and that allows us to change any of anything that's in here so when we're finished we then need to go in and put in an actual quantity. So however long we were there, so we've got we were there for three hours. Uh, done. Um, and then we change the status. We can go into uh, the status up here where it says approved. We can then click up here to completed, and that will then complete. Uh, the job off, it'll close the job off so that you know whoever's lead that's, that that job's gone into is not sending a crew out there the next morning that we've already done it. I won't do that uh, because obviously that will change the that job that I've just clicked onto. Uh, up, yeah, after all that's done, there'll be a um, an update. Then you then must press the update, and that basically updates the whole job and um, and closes it off, and it's all done and dusted. Um, we'll discard any of those changes once you zoom down when you've created a job you zoom down to it and there's your number it comes up with your number 
um, of that job that you've just created. So that's, you know, that's a asphalt pathway 30123. So, um, yeah, basically that's how you'll get your num your job number for your your timesheet. We can close that window down with that little cross there, and that gives us back our full screen. So this is the job number that you then use um, to book your two hours or your three hours or however long that you use, um, yeah, that you're on the site for. And that gets billed to the appropriate department then. Um, that other number from the email that I just sent you yesterday, uh, that is basically just for your, for your on-call allowance, for your on-call weekdays and your on-call week, uh, weekends. Um, any other numbers, yeah, please create one through here. And... Um, yeah, and use that one. Hopefully that helps. If you get stuck, give me a call. Cheers.